Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Turtle Academy lesson. My friends, we're going to make things grow, so let's get cracking. Of course, there will be a link in the description, or you can simply visit hlmodtech.com. When you get there, we want logo programming, and we'll be doing the virtual learning in Turtle Academy. When you click this link, you go down to the Turtle Academy lessons. This is how you launch Turtle Academy. Notice it opens in a second window. And right now we're working on the bonus lessons. When you reach Turtle Academy, make sure you choose login and then we choose login with Google. You should see your name up here. Remember, if you don't, you can just use the profile and under settings, you can change your display name. On this same page, your profile, we can find our lessons. Mine, remember, is on page two. Yours is probably on page one. Mine is named Logo MDH2. You will probably have a different name. When you get to your program, slide to the bottom, and you can delete or you can just semicolon your old wows if you want to keep them because they may be cool. I am going to get rid of the clear screen, and we are going to make a brand new word called to grow. Press enter, and I want you to type end at the bottom. We are going to put the variable L, so notice I'm doing colon and then shift L on the top line of our program. That means whenever we use grow, we'll have to tell it a starting size. Then we're going to go to the repeat command, and this time we're just going to tell it 10 times. We're going to do the square brackets, which again is above the enter key, and we're going to type repeat a second time, and we're going to make a four-sided shape and put the brackets. And then we're going to tell it forward colon L, so the length that we want it to travel. And it's going to go right 90. Hopefully you know by now if we repeat four times, we're making a square. Also, the right 90 leads us to the square. We're going to put a square bracket to end that shape. That is super important. And then we're going to use a new command called make. So we're going to make quotes L. Make sure you hit shift when you do the quotes. And put your L. And then we're going to put a space. And we're going to do colon L. And we're going to do plus the number 5. And then we have to have the square brackets. So when you're done, always double check that you've got the beginning bracket, the end bracket, the beginning bracket, and the end bracket. Now that you've completed grow, you can move down to the bottom. I'm going to do this in between my semicolons. I'm just going to type grow and put a 10 after it and watch what happens. I'm going to tell you to do it on your screen first. I'm going to wait a couple seconds, click run, and let's see what we made. Check it out. Instantly, 10 adorable little squares. All right, friends, let's do something cool with this. Let's select all of it and do copy. I'm going to do control C. I'm going to press enter below it and I'm going to do control V. I'm going to change it to grow with a two. Make sure you put that two there so you have two of them. And then here's the crazy thing. I'm going to delete that bracket and move it to the end. So if you've been in a math class, you've heard, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, where parentheses or brackets change the whole problem. Watch this. Instead of grow, let's do CS space and put a grow to and watch how our second grow command functions. Once again, I'm going to hit run, but I'm going to give you a second hit run first so you can watch how it turns out. All right, here we go. Look how it never ended the squares and made that crazy, awesome pyramid. Make sure when you've got your code complete, you hit save so you don't lose your program. Alrighty, friends, so there you have it. Your code is created. If you're in my classroom, make sure you give me a screenshot. I want your screenshot to be of Grow 20. So make sure you get that coded so you can show me a different square than I had on the screen. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.